35192 uh, if you want to send me a text. A lot of people texting me saying that that whole um, restrictions on tying your tubes is a myth. Well, it, it wasn't. Or that it has changed or something. A lot of young I girls like are texting me. I was like 23, so this is seven years ago when I went. I was like just out of college. I had just, I hadn't gotten with my ex yet, so maybe I was like 22 or 23. But I went and I talked to my gyno, the person I go to every year for paps and every other thing, and she yeah. was like, you can't do it. Um, I got one at 28 with no children. Uh, I have mine tied at 41. My doctor said I could have had it done in my 20s if I'd wanted to. Um, my ex got her tubes tied at 25 with no kids. Well, told me I couldn't do it. I did not seek a second opinion. Is there any chance that that doctor was so mesmerized by the concept of Mary Santora as a mom that she made up a bunch of things she might in have. her mind thinking, no, no. You w- the she, world needs another maybe you. Maybe just thinking, maybe. well, I want Alan to be right. I know she doesn't know Alan yet, and I, <laughs> yeah, I just want you to met. be able <laughs> to say that you're right about Mary one day having babies. I've said on record that Mary will one day have a child. I didn't say anything about multiple children. I believe that you will one day have a child. Now, uh, all things being equal, I will probably... Uh, be outlived by you, and so I'll have no way of knowing. Can I get one you... when I'm 70? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. There's women overseas. Now, okay, I will produce a baby with my body is what you're saying. Not like I'll marry a guy who has kids and now I'm a stepmom. Right, you will birth a child. Okay. I disagree. Is what I'm saying. I know that you do. <laughs> you will birth a child. Because I could see that child. happening. Like, a little, like, with Stepmom, Mary? Stepmom. I could see myself being a stepmom to, like, probably, I don't know. If I find a guy years from now, when I'm 35, 40, and I don't, obviously don't want kids or whatever, but they have a kid or two, that's a different time in my life. I don't want that right now. Understood. Well, I feel like a lot of women, my, my wife, maybe obviously. maybe kids are older or something. My wife is a stepmother, and, um, you know, I feel like a lot of women are more inclined to accept the stepmother role if they know that they're going to have a child with their husband, rather than just going to something like, all right, here's two kids who aren't mine. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to have any more, you know. I think you'd want your I know your this own. isn't the right way to think about it, but I almost look at it like my nieces and nephews. I, I know it would I be understand. different. I know it would be different, but, like, I, I enjoy them. I love them. It's uh, You can give them back. I don't even know that it's necessarily about that, but, like, I don't know. I don't want kids. I understand. But, like, an, an, if I were to marry a dude who had, like, teenage kids or, like, adult kids, and I to could be clear, see that happening. To be perfectly clear. I have nothing wrong with people who don't want kids. Mm-hmm. I'm simply saying, I believe this Mary will have one. Case. Mary just wants the, her husband to have like a hot, young teenage boy that she can walk in on while he's doing laundry, and then she can get stuck in the laundry machine and be like, can you help me out of here? Why am I in the washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> They're always stuck in the washing machine or under a table or... <laughs> They're running late making breakfast, and then all of a sudden a wiener pops out. And like, I, I end up dating a guy mom. who's 15 years older than me, mm-hmm. but he has like a 22 year old son or something like that. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. Maybe. You're describing this as all of a sudden a wiener pops out. <laughs> Boy, if I'm I'll tell in you a one. washing machine, he knows how, he knows a how to paint a picture, doesn't out. he? You yeah. Never know. A wiener might mm-hmm. pop out. Hey, is that a wiener? Cue Speaking the music. Of washing machines, and this, you guys are more than welcome to tell me if I'm gross. I didn't know you could wash your pillows. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. That you could take your pillows out and put them in the washing machine? I've never done that. I think it's also contingent on what they're filled with. I mean, if they're... Well, I got home... What's in the pillow? I wouldn't want... You wouldn't want to wash a pillow that was full of feathers. Right, right, right. right. Well, I got home yesterday, and I haven't, like, really cleaned my apartment because I've been gone so much. I'm only home for a couple days. So yesterday, I was like, I'm going to clean everything. I did, like, six loads of laundry. I did everything. Cleaned it, cleaned, cleaned it. And then when I took the pillowcases off of my pillows, I, like, read the tag, and it was like, oh, machine wash cold, tumble dry. And I did not know that that was even an option. I didn't didn't know if I was that undomesticated. Is that the word? Undomesticated? Sure. Um, but I just wanted to know if you guys knew that as well. Uh, I mean, I did know that you can wash pillows. I had no clue. I thought you just used them until they were gross, and then you bought new ones. Hey, I, that's I another way to do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, what I'm saying like, because I was like, I need some new pillows, and I was like, oh, I could just wash these. And that's you cleaning your whole apartment probably took a full thirty minutes, I would imagine. No, I, I cleaned for like two and a half hours. I put my tree <sighs> really? up. I did everything. I mean, I was like, clean. I swiffer wet jetted. <laughs> yeah. And then a wiener popped out. <laughs> and then a wiener popped out. Alan, do you have a uh, nephew named Gavin? I do. Okay, he's sad about Juice World dying. He just left a comment on the video I posted. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. My said, nephew? Yeah, using, I'm guessing your sister's account, so. Okay, yeah. I would, I would let her know. 
that uh, he's doing that and watching because I think he's a pretty young kid, right? He's 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As of a couple yeah. months ago, yeah, so, yes. Yeah. Hi, Gav. Hey, hey, Uncle Alan. Yeah, hi, pal. Juice oh. World is dead. So sad. It's Gavin, by the way. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. All right. Using your sister's account. Really getting the kids young these days. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I mark all these videos because they're you have family to, members. They're I'm, curious what I do for yeah. a living. Uh, you have to mark all the videos now as for children or not for children. I mark ours not for children because yeah. they're obviously not for children. Right. Speaking of, again, with birth control and things like that, my sister told me a funny story that my niece, the one who uh, is ugh, the Mary Sandra, that one with the mm -hmm. attitude, uh, my sister goes, you'll never guess what Riley did to me. She's like, what? She goes, she comes up to my sister and goes, how come Aunt Meg gets to travel everywhere and you never go anywhere? And my sister's like, well, I had babies. I had you when I was 18 years old, so I had to stay home to make sure I was a good mom for you. Because you rugrats have kept me <laughs> yeah. tethered to the right. earth. Mm -hmm. That's and why. I, and I guess my you niece kind of... good kinda, for nothing. My niece kind of stood there for a second and was like, so you mean if I don't have kids and I can just go wherever I want to go? Like that? And my sister laughed and was like, kind of. And she said it was just really funny for a seven-year-old to like make that connection. That it was like, 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 no kids, I can do whatever the yeah, hell I bird. want. That's right. <laughs> right. But I thought that was a very funny story. That she's a seven years old, like, I think I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. Yeah. I'm like, there you go. Of course. Like, I want to go to Benton Harbor, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Say Joe, come on. That's why so many people are judgy about adults who don't want children, because they see it as being immature. Mm -hmm. That that's an immature way to want to live your life. It's and what's, very selfish. I don't know if it's immature. Well, I, immature only because they will analogize it to a seven-year-old. Yeah. That's the way a child thinks. Like, yeah, and what's the matter with that? Right. I mean, you know, there's a lot of kids who, you know... If you let kids run everything, they'd be marrying their moms. Mm -hmm. So you know, can't have that. Rut row. Don't want that. No, you don't. No, um, the stepmom that keeps she's getting st stuck, stuck in, in the dryer. dryer. No, and then a <laughs> wiener a pops situation. out. Yeah, I know. You Listen, put the wiener if my, in instead of a dryer sheet. Yeah. If my 10-year-old nephew um, is that familiar with Juice World's music that he's sad that he's dead, I ain't worried about him listening to this show. Yeah, right. good point. I should... I have to... Edit the video because it's Juice World all caps. Yes, oh, W R L D. Get yes. it together, man. That's right. I don't know if those are call letters for a radio station, just coincidentally, oh. uh, in this country, <laughs> but that would be interesting if it were. W R L D is a radio station in um, Columbus, Alabama. Mm. Mm. It's 95 3 Kissing Country. <laughs> Talk about Kissing marrying country. your, marrying Kissing your country. mom. Yeah. Kissing country. Yeah, WRLD. Kissing cousins. Or maybe it used to be. I don't know. It was Boomer 95.3 for a minute. <laughs> oh, man. They, but they wish well, they still they had that. Yeah, yeah, I bet they wish they jumped okay, on that. Okay, Boomer. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all Boomer. The, all the merch they're missing out on. Oh. <laughs> they were 95.3 Kissing Country in 20. Oh, they just changed format mm. a couple of months ago. Um, to Urban Adult Contemporary. 95.3 Smooth R&B. Boy, you could not go. Uh, you couldn't flip to a more different music format than going from country music to smooth R&B <laughs> down there in Alabama. Valley, Alabama, and up into Georgia. So there mm -hmm. you go. So for all the people who are down there and Googling Juice World today or Googling WRLD, there'd be a little bit of confusion. Uh, hey, the Browns won Yay! against the Cincinnati Bengals. That was one of those uh, games where I was like, I thought it was funny because I imagine that even though they're, uh, they've only won one game this season, that the Bengals probably were equally as happy to play the hapless Browns mm -hmm. as the Browns were to play the Bengals. Mm -hmm. You know, Browns going to the weekend going, up oh, it's Cincinnati, whatever. And the Bengals are a sneaky team because they are bad record-wise, but all, like, they've lost a lot of games by like one possession or less. Mm -hmm. So they've been in a lot of games. They're just a, a young team, and, you know, they're not getting walked all over, though. I listened to it on my drive home yesterday, mm -hmm. and it was an entertaining game to listen to. I mean, it was, like, was, the I wasn't first half was kind it, of bad, yeah. and then the second half it kind of picked up. A lot up. of back and forth. But I then, felt like a couple interceptions. I mean, yeah. turnovers and things. It was fun to listen to, at least. Well, if you were listening to the radio broadcast, that's one thing. Yes, but I was listening people, to the radio broadcast. People were bitching because they had the girl. Like, there's a woman doing the broadcast and I get on Facebook. The TV play-by-play, play, you mean? Yeah, yeah. And the TV play-by-play, play, she's doing it. And I get on Facebook at halftime, and it's just my entire feed is people going, this blue, she sucks, she's terrible. It's not even because she's a woman, it's just she's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Who was it? 
I, I can't even remember. Her Erica name. Okay. tagged her in a tweet. I didn't know yeah. what it was about, though, because I listened to some guy named Jim do it. Jim Donovan. Yeah, him. Yeah. Some guy <laughs> named <laughs> Jim. Jim Donovan. That's going to be the name of his autobiography <laughs> someday. <laughs> and so I'm, you know, just seeing everybody posting about this, I'm like, well, I'm going to take the exact opposite route and kind of troll people and be like, well, if you criticize a woman broadcaster uh, calling a game, you should be put in jail. And then I just like Brown's jail. Beth Mowins? No, just jail. Yeah. Moens? Moens, I think. How'd she do? She She's I mean fine. you were like She's fine. Yeah. And like but people are annoyed because anything different gets people worked up. Yeah. So they're like, Oh, she's terrible and then they'd be like, Well, Tiki Barber's terrible too. I'm like, Well these guys probably haven't worked together that many times. So like finding that chemistry and then also having to call a Browns Bengals game on top of it, <laughs> there's a lot of time. Where the refs fill. didn't even know what was going on half right. the time. Like there's, like there's, they were going back and forth. And she's been doing them for almost three years. Right, and she's fine. She's not a bad announcer. She's doing do, does basketball as well, and it's not bad. And that's the thing with announcers. People criticize announcers all the time. It's not just her. It's just whatever. Like people hate Joe Buck, and they get so mad about that. I'm like, yes, yeah, because all you're concentrating on is the announcer. Turn it down. Turn Watch on music. the game, yeah. Watch the game. It's the easiest thing to fix, and it's so annoying to see people complain about something that they don't even have to participate in. Yeah. You just turn the volume down. She was yeah. CBS's first female announcer for the NFL. She's been doing it. She's been broadcasting games for 25 years. Oh, yeah. I was like three years ago. So she's she was not, the first. She's the first. No, no, no. Right. she's 52 years old. Yeah. She's been doing it a long time. And she's but. good. I think she's fine. Like, yeah. and then like people get into the comments like she acts like she played the game. I'm like. First of all, because you played in high school doesn't mean you're like a pro player. Oh my player. God, I People, hate that. Like, I'm like, can you calm down? She's talking about what's happening on the field, and they got a lot of time to kill, especially in the modern NFL where there's a review every two plays, and there's so much downtime. So it is interesting the visceral annoying. reaction that people will have to something like that, though. Yeah. Maybe they just don't like the quality of her voice. Maybe it's literally that's just what her people voice. were trying to justify. I They're see. Like, well, I don't like the way her voice sounds. She's got an annoying voice, and I'm like, she's got a broadcaster voice. It's just a female broadcaster voice. She should have an amazing voice like Howard Cosell. <laughs> And the 50-yard line. And I, I, John Facenda. I posted it, and I didn't read any comments because I don't care what anybody has to... Like, like this is my but, opinion, I don't but care. But there's, like, hundreds of comments on my Facebook post where people are going back and forth and blah, blah, blah. And I don't, I don't care what you have to... How you're trying to justify being a petty little annoying person that's more worked up over the announcer than the actual game. Right. Like, watch the game. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the game. The announcers are doing their job. She worked her ass off to get where she's at. So what? You don't like to calm down. It's just a voice. I'm more entertained by all the OBJ stories. That any any basically anyone he talks to, he, Odell Beckham Jr. says, get me out of Cleveland. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you figure the guy, you know, comes here figuring he's going to be, uh, what? I don't know. He's going to have a little bit of fun in Cleveland. He probably mm -hmm. figured he'd come in and he, he kick ass a, and take names. He wanted and, to have like a record setting season yeah. and he's done <laughs> Not. less than good. He but tells I've, coaches before games, come get me. <laughs> come get me. I saw a tweet, I don't know if it's real or not, or somebody was just making it up, but there was like, uh, OBG was like, I want to score a touchdown too. And then uh, Chubb was like, yo, I want to win the game. Like, yeah. So how about we focus on doing better together, but and then we'll go. Everybody knew that's you know, what you're getting when you get Odell Beckham Jr. That he's just he's selfish, not a and he's a showy guy. He's a showy guy. So you that's, that's the good and the bad with him. So you go out there, and you hope that he's going to make some catches, but he's got a lot of drops this season, too. Like, it's not all on him. Or it's not all on, like, the offense. Like, he's made some bonehead plays and, you know, whatever. Well, Terry the Get Goat. Get out of here. I don't care. Terry the Goat did not have a good week for week 14. Uh, Terry the Al is our bureau chief in Carlton, PA, and each week this uh, season, uh, Terry, one of his livestock, have been picking the uh, that week's games, and she stays the same as last week. She went 4-8 and eight for week 14. She has never topped... Her very first week eight picks. Eight and two, eight right? Eight and two, yeah. she went week one. We had high hopes coming out of the gate. came out strong, but four and eight. Mm. She correctly picked the Browns over the Bengals, picked the Steelers over the Cardinals, Jets over the Dolphins, and the Broncos over the Texans. But every other game, she missed. She picked the Bills over the Ravens. She picked the Redskins over the Packers. Patriots lost a home game. I don't think anybody would have seen that, but she picked the Patriots over the Chiefs. So, um, Terry the Goat, for week 14, made 12 picks, which is a lot 
for her, but she goes four and eight. Well, Terry. She's not careful. She's going to end up uh, getting sent to a Euro shop. Goat? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. It's a lamb. I don't know what... Uh, I, I don't like goats, too. Oh, you think that they're that discerning when it comes to mm-hmm. mass production of edible meats? Yes. You do. I don't think you can put a goat's leg on a spigot like that. I think you can put anyone's leg on a spigot like that. Yours? And we shave it off? Sure. Is it called a spigot? I don't think it's called a spigot. What's it called? But it's called a thing. It's a spigot. I, a no, spigot. No. A spigot is water. A it's called a spigot. Spigot. A spit is a what you're talking about. Yeah. Spit. A spigot. <laughs> Spigot Spig- is what the water comes out that's of. Not, it's not it's like not a, S-P-I-C-K-E-T. It's not a leg that's no. on there. It's like compressed meat that they put on there. Well, I know that. So visually, you can compress any meat. Visually, you could take a man's full thigh and put it on that Sorry. spit. Spit. Spig. Well, we said spit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spigot is what you're thinking of. The With water comes out. S-P-I-G-O-T. Spigot. Spigot. Not spigot. It's not spigot. Just found that Just out. like it's not sherbet. You got um, me on that one, too, one time a couple of weeks ago when I came in with a smoothie. We got a new uh, pound cake saying on Friday. Oh, 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 I missed so much. What yeah. was it? Oh, it was the best. Oh, God, I can't wait. It was one fit. <laughs> should he tell her? No, I should. No, I forget. It was one fatal swoop. In one fatal swoop? It sounds mm-hmm. like a... You know what the phrase is. I, I don't. I don't. Not compared to if that. If you say, I'm going to do this in one... I, I don't one, fell swoop. one fell swoop. Oh, Have you ever no, used I've that phrase? That. No. All right. Well, then this means nothing to you. No, mm. but one right, fatal next. swoop, I think of like a, a bird of prey. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one. <laughs> he said one fatal swoop. One fell swoop is what it is? One fell swoop, okay, yes. Yeah, I, I just meant it as fatal. in like knocking something out. Like if I... No, we know what you meant. Well, I'm, I'm explaining it to Mary. In, in context, I was saying I'm going to get all my... Christmas shopping done in one fatal swoop. Like I'm just gonna get it all done at once, <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. I'll just knock it out. I'm just gonna and, kill everyone I love, yeah, so I don't have to like buy a, any, gro- any Christmas presents. That is one solution. You don't it's have like to buy a any machete. Christmas just yeah. one fatal swoop. Mm-hmm. Oh <laughs> Well, uh, that was. He got uh, one added to the list. There you go. I always do. I always manage to find new ones. You guys got jackets while I was gone. Yeah. I did a little dance. Jackets. Little or dance. you got a ba- yeah. Bill got a jacket. Somebody yeah. got a jacket. Oh, yeah. They yeah. sent those yeah. uh, a couple of big XL work jackets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From somebody out. Uh, just sent us a box. Some stuff in it. Nothing I threw for that, me? Threw that ho- yeah, there's like a there's small a hoodie, hoodie there. Yeah. Oh, was that mine? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, two XL Try work jackets. It, like you did your coat. Dude, there's deodorant all over my coat. <laughs> How ratchet. Explain that to me. Were you wearing was, a tank top in your coat? No, it's like looks it's like it's splattered yeah. all over the outside of my coat. And it doesn't and look like deodorant. It's white. Your yeah. new coat? My brand new coat. I didn't even realize it until I was in line at Chipotle today. And I looked down. And I was so like, what the it. hell is that? And I like put my hand on it. I smelled it. It was deodorant. But I use I use like clinical strength like prescription antiperspirant so when i was trying because i'm a sweaty person Mm -hmm. so when i was trying to like (laughs) wash it off the water it was water resistant so i like can't get it off of my coat oh no (laughs) so i just have these brand new 250 you have to take it to a dry cleaner i'm gonna have to i have a tied to go pen that in the last break i put the tied to go pen on there but that's usually for like Stains, stains on yeah. clothing, so I don't know if it'll work. Why or not. Um, hi, how it? do I get clinical strength f- uh, deodorant off the front of my coat? Yeah, does the, does the hood zip off? I don't think so. Okay. I would. I'd have to, have to dry clean it. I can't yeah. throw it in the washer. Okay, right. but uh, what's I was it? A wool coat? It. No, I don't know what it is. It's like I but think it, it's got that faux like fur it's got around like a fur it, lining. and that will get messed up if you wash it. And the inside, <laughs> like the back of the inside is also a similar fabric that's like warmer to keep your back warm. I remember my daughter trying to wash her jacket when she had one like that when she's probably like 7th or 8th grade. And uh like I bought it for her. She went with me to Madison, Wisconsin. And it was like around Christmas time and I bought her that coat and she was so proud of it. And then she got home, she wore it to school once and then she spilled something on it and didn't tell us because she did her own laundry at this point. And so she washed it, but she didn't take the hood off oh. and completely ruined the hood. It'll get and like like spiky almost. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like fur. It looks like mm. like a matted cat or something. Like, <laughs> what do they call it? The mange. mange. Yeah. yeah. When they get mange. This yeah. cat's got the mange. Let's yeah. turn him into a hood. <laughs> she, was, she was so mad about it. And I'm like, well, Aww. read the directions. You always go like a million miles an hour. Yeah. You don't pay attention to things. And she's like, Oh, yeah. And just now she's uh, quite careful about things. So she she learns all the lessons the hard way. So do I. It's funny. I hear you. Um, well, again, back on the what's her name, the announcer, Beth Maurin or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
people are saying that the tone of her voice is very condescending. <laughs> condescending calling a football I don't know what the yeah, hell I don't not, know what the hell that means those of you who are texting me that, no, that that's someone that has some problems with their mom got yeah, some like, that's what it comes, issues, yeah, big time. yeah like there's that's when you hear someone calling a football game and you say this tone is condescending maybe they didn't have a dad and their mom was like the one who was hard on them yeah, it's that's like what get I'm out there and catch it yeah. like, you know? that, she's not condescending one bit that's another thing that women in broadcasting have going well women, women anywhere have going against them is how someone might take their tone because of that person's own Baggage, personal yeah. history. Because right, of their yeah. own moms. Yeah. yeah. People or, are like, oh, Elizabeth Warren makes me feel like I'm getting a lecture from my grandmother. I'm like, well, was your grandmother really, really smart? <laughs> right. Yeah. So what's the problem? So if your grandmother was stupid, you don't want to lecture from anybody stupid. But a lecture from somebody who's smart knows their stuff. Yeah. What's the matter with that? It's called college. Yeah. yeah. Lecture me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. And if you want to even things out, we're not all about women's rights. We got Christy's Instagram hotties up at alcockshow.com. <laughs> Which is their right to do that, it right? Absolutely. Right. They the voluntarily put Honestly. themselves on It really is. Do it. It's your body. Do yeah. whatever the hell you want with it. And That's you, right. I just don't look at it because it makes me sad that my body doesn't look well, like that. But I ate one, tacos and a full pizza last night. This so. one will make you feel better because these girls are having a hard time getting their pants on. Oh. They're actually putting their pants on. Over their big old butts. Good They're having a hard time getting them on. Yeah, and then a wiener good. popped out. <laughs> <laughs> wiener just can never be a serious it's such word. such a funny word. Like, wiener is so funny. No one talks, uh, no one says wiener right before they're about to have sex. Like, all right. Touch my wiener. About to go use my wiener. wiener. I'm going to try oh my it. God. <laughs> Give me that wiener. Yeah, there are certain words when it you comes can't. to the dirty talk you cannot. Even in the sexiest whisper, just like, I can't wait to have your wiener. And, this, oh, <laughs> and then there's words that you can only use in the bedroom. Like the C word. Yeah. Um, you like can't the, just throw that like around. Like the C that ends with K. Yes. Like, no, you, I thought you were no, no, you know, I'm like, that one's still dicey. No, in reference to. <laughs> yeah, easy on that one. Easy. In reference to a male's member. The male C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Not C the word. Female C. I'm like, no one uses that unless they're trying to be cool outside of the bedroom. Like, you say it in the bedroom and then that's You know it. what's funny is that I don't really dirty talk. But I like I'm a avid sexter. I like that a lot <laughs> because I feel like I'm like hidden behind it. And if you were to make me say the things that I sex, I can already feel my yeah. face getting a little bit red. <laughs> like, You're like, oh, it would be so embarrassing. Can, like, can you? I, I, no, pl- I wouldn't. Eggplant, water to. drop, peach. Because it's like the can things you, that can I you would, say them, but then switch out the wiener. Yeah, for wiener. <laughs> no, but it's one of those things where bit. I'm like, I think that I, I talk a big game, and then sometimes if I were to meet a guy, and they're like, well, where'd all that go? Because I'm pretty quiet during mm-hmm. sex. <laughs> like what? You sent a scroll. Like, really it's like, are you still alive? Are you yeah, all right? Yeah. I'm not engaging in necrophilia all of a need sudden, to say am anything. I? Oh my goodness! Is your body temperature dropped precipitously? <laughs> yeah, I always thought that was weird when people use the c word. I'm like, who, who, who raised you? That is so right. like, who raised you? That's so gross. That's so rude when you're down there doing that disgusting thing to my body. No, outside of the bedroom. Ah, uh, well, listen, it's good for the goose. Whatever. Hey, Magic of Lights, they do this every year out at the Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds in Berea. You get in the car, drive the kids through. It's a lot of fun. The drive through holiday lights experience. I will have some passes for you after the break. 35192 if you want to text. It's the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you go on our free iHeartRadio. 